My fellow Americans, there's so much I could say about how proud it makes me to be able to say those words. However, since we moved here, I felt like this was my home. How much I've loved getting to know America, how much I appreciate the welcome you've all given me and the opportunities I've had here that would never have been possible anywhere else. But the big point I want to make is that the more I've learned about America, the more I've come to love America, the more I've learned about our history, our culture and traditions, and of course our constitution, the more I appreciate that there is no better place on earth and no better model for the rest of the world. Yes, even with the inevitable imperfections that in our different ways we all work to improve upon. So I'm here as a new citizen, not to try and make America more like the place I left, but because I love it as it is. And this was the moment that it became official. I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations to all of you. You are now citizens of the United States. I just felt that was an incredibly emotional moment. The moment that got me was when um, we just heard those words, my fellow Americans, and realized that that includes me. It's a very special moment. <laughs> I'm told some friends uh, sent some messages, but first, here's one that we just received that was a bit of a surprise. I want to congratulate Steve Hilton. He became a U.S. citizen, and nobody loves our country more than Steve. I've been watching Steve right from the beginning, even before you got here. And I just say it is wonderful to have you as a U.S. citizen. Congratulations. Nobody loves our country more than you, Steve. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I, uh, well, who else have we got a message from? Let's have a look. Steve, I want to wish you congratulations on finally becoming a U.S. citizen. Just the latest of Brits making the jump across the pond. We're honored to have you. You are what makes America great. I know that you are going to be a fantastic citizen, and your brand of positive populism is exactly what America needs. I am so excited for you on your new journey. Think about it. For the longest time, you said, we lost to America in 1776. Now you're an American. Now you can say, we beat Britain. You were one and all, and you didn't even know it. We are so grateful to have you, and we're so so blessed to have your platform and so much that you have already done and given to this country as a patriot. Samuel Adams used to say, for true patriots, silence is dangerous. You, my friend, have been defending America, its vision, its ideals for so many years. Now you're fully part of the club. Welcome home. Congratulations on becoming a United States citizen. You are a fantastic host of The Next Revolution and now a great American. Welcome. Well done, Steve. Now you can genuinely say, my fellow Americans. Feels good, doesn't it? You join the club. Congratulations. But remember, no matter what they tell you, no matter what they say, you still don't have to wear a tie. <laughs> Very good. I, I think Brian Kilmeade really nailed it there, but thank you. Thank you to all. That was so great. I hadn't seen any of those. Um, apparently, there is one more uh, from someone here in my home state of California. Steve Hilton, congratulations. You finally became an American citizen. This is really fantastic. But I have to say that I was a little disappointed because you had just regular clothes on. You weren't even wrapped in the American flag like I am right now, because that's what I did when I was one in. I immediately wrapped myself with the American flag. And then I said, I bet you any money you didn't even have the American flag inside your jacket. This is an absolute given. When you become an American citizen, you go to the swearing in ceremony, you have to have the American flag inside. And then, of course, because you're from California now, you have on the other side the California flag. That's a given. And no, because we have been friends for a long time, that you want to give something back to the community, you want to start your own charity and all this kind of thing. I love that because it's the number one rule. When you become an American citizen, as an immigrant, you give something back to your country, to your community, to your state. And that's an absolute must. So keep on going. I love you. Congratulations. You're an American now. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm definitely going to get that jacket. Um, very good advice all around there um, from the governator. All right, Tammy and Lisa, you're back with us now. Um, 
what do you think? That was yeah. so nice, wasn't it? I feel very emotional just watching all of that. Yeah. Tammy, oh, Lisa, you go first. Lisa, you go first. Well, I'll just say, Steve, you're an amazing friend, an amazing host, and now you're an amazing and patriotic American. We are so lucky to have you. Congratulations. Can't top President Trump. Also thought about bringing champagne, but I wasn't sure if we're allowed to drink on air. So, <laughs> but I'm we'll so happy for you. have it the next time we see each other. <laughs> yes. Tammy? Just saying, welcome to the family, right? Is it a club or whatever, but really, this is the best family on God's green earth in history, and you are a welcome part of it, a natural part of it. Welcome aboard. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for being part of it. It was great. Thanks for all those messages. Um, thank you very much for making me feel so welcome. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.